Hello Aquarius, this is Leonard with Lingonberry Tea Tarot and I'm doing your tarot reading for the month of March. So, my fellow Aquarians, it looks like you have a lot going on in your life in the month of March. So the bell tells you to be aware when the bell tolls, because when the bell tolls, that's when danger is near. And to do self-reflection with the mirror, and the phoenix tells us that we are going to be uh, reborn in a certain way. And some of you may be retiring or thinking about retirement. And um, there's going to be financial changes in your life. Possibly for the better. And... Hunter says to track down your fears and desires and be a fearless warrior and stand strong. Move beyond ancestral patterns. High Priest tells us to intend and create. Lord, take charge with authority and stay rooted and grounded by Earth, says the Earth Guardian. And what was once was lost is now found. And look in a book if you're trying to find an answer. Um, so it could be a holy book, it could be your, any type of book that you have that you just want to open it up to a certain page and read the first few sentences and that might be the answer that you're seeking. And love is all around you and have patience and ask for help and be willing to accept support. And again, do some self-reflection. Look inside yourself and your soulmate is coming. And my beloved, though maybe you be, we may be physically apart, spiritually we are always united for love transcends space and time. Nothing is missing. Okay, so that's your oracles for the month of March. And I'm moving these out of the way in order to use the Druidcraft Tarot which is my largest deck and easiest to see on the screen possibly and then I will clarify with the universal Celtic tarot and then we will ask for some advice so Aquarius what's your overall energy Like I said, your finances are good, which attracts a Prince of Swords. And if it starts with a Libra, then I will, yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. So it has your guard up a little bit. Um. But it's something that you manifested. So you want love in your life, so you manifested it into your life. Because you moved into calmer waters now that you are financially successful in your own right. Could be dealing with the Virgo. But um, you're making plans on your future, and it may have a new beginning with a new position with the Ace of Pentacles, which may throw us a wrench in your future. Because you've won your battles, and you've plotted out your way in order to become a Queen of Pentacles. And you know your truth. And all these 
these are extra. But it just tells a tale of um, you looking at things differently in your life in order to have a new perspective and to let go of old hurts and to have a reignition of passion. And it causes you to go into a Ten of Pentacles. Um, with somebody from the past with rebirth, somebody that you waited for, somebody that you walked away from and had to do a lot of soul searching and inner work on yourself and focus on your job as well in order to have this new beginning, which is death. So why is the Prince of Swords here? Like I said, you've won many battles and you've plotted your way through it. And the world is bringing in justice. Libra. Okay. So why is the Five of Wands here? You could also be dealing with another Aquarius, uh, Leo, Scorpio, or uh, Virgo. No, not Virgo. Taurus. Yeah. You... It has your guard up. It has you kind of... fighting this new beginning with this person. So why is the fairy out here? What are you manifesting? Uh, what new beginning is happening with this energy? You're manifesting... <laughs> You're manifesting not... Um, to look at the offers, to hold the cup. Because the moon is illuminating things. It's illuminating somebody who's coming in with their cup. Who sees you as their ten of pentacles. Who did a lot of work on themselves. Who is coming in as a king of swords. Who did a lot of soul searching and using their high intuition in order to offer you a pinnacle to bring about this ten of pinnacles. So why is the six of swords here? Oh, the ten of swords wanted to come out. So you're moving away from that energy. Or you already have. Now you just need to make a decision on what you want to do next. So why is the Hermit here? You're finding the strength in order to possibly accept this from them. So why is the Ace of Pentacles here? cards and they're all face down. Okay, so why is the Ace of Pentacles here? <coughs> Too many 
herds. I'll pick these three that fell onto the ground. You're receiving some sort of offer at work for a higher position. You have a different view on it. And now it is your wish fulfillment come true. Bringing you into a King of Pentacles and Empress energy, and now your Emperor is here to claim you. Wow. Why is the Seven of Swords here? You've reignited your passions with the Page of Wands and evening out your feelings with temperance and yeah, you are financially abundant on your own and not really looking for things. So why is the Queen of Pentacles here? Because it's a new job. People been watching you and now they're ready to give you a shot. So why is the hangman here? Because you've come out of hermit mode and now you've attracted your king of cups who's worked on themselves to give you an offer. Is definitely coming in as a Knight of Swords because you've tempered yourself you see celebration with this person you have the nine of cups your wish fulfilled for the ten of Pentacles and the wheel is smiling upon you because it's bringing this king of swords in who have you argued with who is now very much in love with you with the, as a king of cups, not only as a king of swords. And they are wanting to celebrate this new beginning with you. But that's your reading, Aquarius, and I hope you liked it. And if you do, like, comment, share, and subscribe down below, and I'll see you again next time. Laters.